my morning mantra. I like to start the day by looking at my calendar to see what meetings I have for the day and also if there's any deliverables due. I'm pretty light on meetings today because I have a Walmart shoot, which I'm shooting remotely. Now that I know what my day will look like, I then walk over to Central Park to book a tennis court for later in the day. Here's a little bit of UX design for you. This path is what the designer created, but this is the path the user needs. You have to get here early or you're not getting a court. It's such a luxury that I live a block away. After booking a court, I then head over to the reservoir. I like to have long mornings just to clear my head, have some reflection. The Midtown skyline is not a bad view. All right, back to work. Just sending a few emails and Slack messages so that the team has everything they need from me. And for the most part, I don't have to be bothered during the shoot. I'm waiting for the crew on site to start the live feed. While waiting, I edit some film from a target campaign I'm also working on. For this image, I wanted to shift the background to target red. The shadow at the bottom of the wall is a little harsh for my liking, so I also softened it significantly. Shot one is finally up, so I go over the shot with the crew on set. As a creative director for the shoot, it's my job to make sure the photos align with the article and also incorporate client goals. Let's look at some of the notes I had. The tip associated with this image is about different options for your protein in a burger. A protobello mushroom, salmon, or impossible meat. I thought a Walmart bag with packaged items could easily be incorporated here. Let's look at that change. This feels better to me and I'm sure the client appreciates the brand presence. Reviewing the image again, I felt like the props and other ingredients were too much of the focus, so I needed them to make the meat substitutes more in the forefront. And we ended with this. For me, the addition of the knife gives the essence of a person and that makes sense for a prep shot. Once I'm good with the image, we send it off to the client for approval and feedback. While waiting, time for lunch. I love to cook and I try to take advantage while I'm still working remotely. I always start with cooking rice because rice is life. If you don't already, make sure you wash your rice. Sharpening some knives, chop your vegetables. Season your meat. Now let's get to cooking. Garlic, ground pork, finally flavor. Here I have fish sauce, soy sauce, and some brown sugar. Add some lemongrass and Thai chili peppers. Thicken with some cornstarch. And finish with cilantro. Now for a quick tempura. Time to eat. The first shot is approved so we can move down the shot list for the rest of the day. It's my job to manage the time so that we finish all the shots before the end of the day. For the bulk of the afternoon, I'm basically just glued to the screen. Since I'm remote, I have to make sure that I'm always available for the team, just as I would be on set. I want to share the changes I made for the last shot for the day. Let's first start with the inspiration image. I like how simplistic this was and wanted to stick to that, so this was my directive to the team. Here's what they came up with first. I totally think this works, but I have to be mindful of how all the images fit together, so I asked to look at the other images within the article. The other images felt more lifestyle, and I needed to incorporate that here. 
For the bottom left image, I liked the glow coming from the picture and wanted to incorporate that into the hero. To be mindful of scale, the objects can't be that big, but we can achieve the glow through glasses, which are closer in size to the pieces of pizza. I also asked to add some ingredients to fill up the space. Here's the final shot. And my favorite words of the day, that's a wrap. I always thank the team for the work on set because the collaboration with them is one of my favorite parts of the job. I need to decompress, so back to Central Park for that court I booked earlier. I end my walk back home with a nice sunset from down the street. And the same thing again tomorrow.